One missile, 10 warheads, 10 cities gone before lunch. Sounds like a bad thriller, except it's Monday's briefing if you track Chinese rocketry. The DF-5C doesn't just add numbers, it rewrites the odds. Let's peel back the shell and see how Beijing turned a single silo into a pocket-sized Armageddon. The launch. Imagine a 10-story steel tube tucked under a mountain in the far west. Roof slabs slide, mist jets out, and 180 tons of angry liquid fuel roar to life. Four minutes later the first stage peels away, another four and the second stage parks the bus in orbit. Eight minutes total, 800 kilometers up, 7.8 kilometers per second. From here the real sleight of hand begins. The bus ride. Inside the nose sits what engineers cheerfully call, the bus. A squat drum with thrusters, a rad-hardened brain, and ten re-entry vehicles stacked like lethal pancakes. Beidou pings, star trackers check constellations, fiber-optic gyros keep everything within a school bus length of perfect. A spring nudges warhead one, tiny jets fire, the bus glides to the next mailbox. Ten drops, hundreds of kilometers apart, all arriving inside the same three-minute window. Meanwhile mylar balloons blossom, chaff drifts, and radar screens light up like Christmas. Fifty blips, ten of them real, everyone screaming in at Mach 20. The plunge. Re-entry kicks in at 100 kilometers. Plasma licks the cones at 3000 degrees Celsius, yet carbon-carbon noses shrug it off. At 30 kilometers the warhead's bank 15 G's turns, skirting predicted intercept zones. GPS updates tighten aim points to a three soccer field circle. Six minutes left for the cities below, most radars are still coughing on chaff. Detonation at 500 meters, four megaton airburst flattens 12 kilometers, fries 25, blinds every sensor looking its way. Ten of those, staggered across a continent, turns an ordinary Tuesday into history's footnote. The Defense Nightmare Today's interceptors are picky. One target, maybe two, $75 million a shot. To swat ten warheads plus decoys you'd need north of 100 missiles. The US keeps 44 in the ground. Even perfect marksmanship leaks nukes, and perfect never shows up for work. Multiply that headache across a handful of Chinese silos and the math folds into surrender. That's the Merv mind trick, not just ruin, but the guarantee that enough of it arrives whatever you throw skyward. Strategic Math One DF-5C can hold Los Angeles, Seattle, San Francisco, Chicago, Denver and four Midwest airbases at risk. Lunch break for a single crew. Beijing doesn't need to empty the magazine. Ten warheads do the talking, freeing the rest of the force for carriers, allies, or round two. Under a no first use pledge, the ability to give as good as you get is everything. Hardened silos, 20,000 kilometers reach, and ten independent hits make sure that even a first strike opponent still eats the leftovers. FOB's bonus round. Some analysts swear there's a party trick. Send the missile the long way around park the bus at 150 kilometers, then to orbit when ready. Warning time shrinks from 20 minutes to under 12, radar looks the wrong way, and the warheads never finish a full orbit, legal hair-splitting versus the space treaty. Beijing smiles and shrugs, even without the stunt, the DF-5C is overkill, with it, every tracking algorithm needs a rewrite. Like seeing how the scariest Lego set on Earth snaps together, Subscribe and hit the bell, new missile mechanics every week. Historical snap of the whip. MIRVs aren't fresh out the box. America strapped them to Minuteman in 1970, the USSR answered with the SS-18. What's new is China cracking the trifecta. Light thermonuclear primaries, pinpoint bus guidance and silos that laugh at near misses. Ten years back the 5A packed one 5 megaton shot, the 5B split into three, the 5C triples again. No flashy lasers, just incremental tweaks that turn a dinosaur into a dragon. Liquid fuel keeps the price tag friendly. One DF-5C costs about two J-20 fighters, yet buys a continent's worth of deterrence. 
Arms Control Afterlife New start pins Washington and Moscow but leaves Beijing free to roam. The U.S. wants China at the table, China says its arsenal is just enough, roughly 350 warheads. 10 DF-5Cs already eat a third of that quota, and satellite pics show fresh silos sprouting in Xinjiang and Inner Mongolia. Every new U.S. interceptor risks coaxing more MIRVs out of the ground, which nudges Washington toward hypersonic counters, and round we go. Everyone sees the spiral, nobody wants to flinch. Future Proof Solid fuel DF 41s launch faster, yet the old liquid beast hangs around because 5,000 kilograms of throw weight leaves room for heavier decoys, glide vehicles, maybe even post blast recon drones. Expect stealth coatings, depressed trajectories, maybe mid course jammers. The missile's a Cold War veteran that refuses retirement, mutating like the B 52 with every budget cycle. Bottom line. 10 warheads turn one rocket into a pocket arsenal. 10 cities, 10 bases, 10 reasons an opponent pauses. In the cold algebra of deterrence, multiplication beats megatonnage every time. The DF-5C isn't just hardware, it's noticed that second strike parity no longer wears an American or Russian flag. One silo, 10 buttons, and the chessboard tilts. Technology doesn't sit still. It stacks more endings into the same steel tube until the unthinkable becomes inventory. The next arms race won't be counted in launchers but in how many times a single shot can end the world. Thanks for watching. If you want more engineering tours of the planet's most powerful machines, whack subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.